Hey guys, it's here bringing you another video. Welcome back to more placement games. That was fast. Playing more Shen today was went top lane this game. Um, you can see it's a platinum-ish game for people that have completed placements. Some people obviously not done that well in placement. Some people have. Feel free to put like pause that or whatever if you want to look at it more. But I can't dilly dally because we're going in. I like our comp though. Hyper carries in our comp, and then we have me and Zillion that are designed more to save people. So. I do think that works quite well. Immediately. Thirty seconds until minions spawn. Did Carthus smite that? That's a power move. Alright. No good leash for Shaker. Oh yeah, he's got Smite already back. Yeah, that's completely fine. And he gets his... Oh my god, that's so good! He Smited, it doesn't affect him, he already got Smite, and he gets his Augment quicker. <laughs> that's quite funny. I can tank it, I got a shield. There you go. Enjoy. Mundo straight in lane. I did, by the way, have a little look that isn't wicked as we know wicked. It's a different, it's a player that just has wicked as their name. I was like, God, please, I don't want to be against actual wicked. Uh, Fighter, thank you so much, dude. I haven't played against a Mundo in quite a while. Oops. Uh, so it's shending positive vibes. I love it. Thank you. Yeah, sorry if the content at the moment, guys, has been really stressful and like a bit. Mm. I've, uh, as I've said a couple times, I just don't think I'm dealing with it very well. I'm j I just care so much about the early season going well compared to last season because obviously last season did not go well on the Huzzy account. That I might have just put a bit too much pressure on myself, and I'm just not coping with it very well. So apologies for that. So if the, basically, if we get if we survive early, I think we'll win this game. Because Shaker will probably fall off. Because we'll have, in late game, think of it, a Zillion and a Shen. He's never going to be able to assassinate somebody. It must be done. So the annoying thing with Shen Mundo, I have played this matchup, I think, a couple times. In order for me to like actively fight him, I need to break his passive. And that's going to be an annoying thing to do every now and then. But he's constantly pushed in. It's a very aggressive Mundo. Don't think I've ever seen a Mundo this aggressive. I think he just got spotted. That's annoying. So the Arcathus and Anivia I saw were um, pre-made, by the way. Bot lane's really low health. This does look like most places on the map were on the back foot compared to the enemy, but I guess that makes sense. Leona's more active in lane than Zillion in the beginning of the game. Shaco, I think, mainly affected mid lane more than the 1v1, so... But also, to be fair, Victor's probably a bit better than Anivia early. Dude, he's got his passive. No. Honestly, I don't even know if he needed a flash. Mundo? Okay, that was just bad play by Mundo. 
Don't know why he did that. He, he used Flash earlier, so it's like, why would he then go for a fight when he we know he doesn't have Flash? You know? Um, we'll take it. Mm -hmm. Okay, not bad. That was just weird. He did not go where he pleased. Nope. No, no, no. Hit the roll, Jack. And don't you come back. No, 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 no. They're doing it? Whoa, okay. Oh, there's Shaco. Sparky Dash! Hey, Huzzy and chat just got back from getting boosted. In a good way. Hell yeah, dude. Everyone get boosted. <laughs> I love that we can, like, meme jokes about getting boosted now, but it's in a good way. <laughs> Protect others by getting boosted. Protect your own rank, your life, by getting boosted. Oh, Jinx did the classic thing. AD carry that's alone in lane. What does that mean? Oh, I'm going to go aggressive as the Jinx when my support is helping Dragon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. So he was tanking tower to try and stop me, but you can't stop me, Mundo. And I didn't use teleport on purpose. So now I can TV back to lane. Ah, special delivery! <laughs> Uh, that was good. Put the zillion bomb. <laughs> Imagine if that actually helped me get a kill, by the way. That would have been insane. It was good awareness, actually, from zillion to do that. Uh, Belge Boys. Thank you so much, dude, for the brand new Prime. This Jinx keeps doing it, guys. She keeps going by herself. Carthus out. I don't know if that actually did anything is the problem. He did it really early. They should like he should have done it a bit later. Commit the enemy team to the fight and then do it. Where the enemy team was basically running away anyway. Dude, this guy is low. I know he's got ult, but it's not gonna get him even to probably half health. But he mucked up the ward. He altered. Yeah, it might just be. No, he's gone Dark Harvest. Or maybe he just wanted Dark Harvest stack. Maybe it's that. Shaco's bot. You'll never see Shaco top lane, pretty much, by the way. Also, good news. I've altered, helped my team. I've got three assists right now, and. I've got basically even farm with Mundo. That's really good. Normally when you're playing Shen and you're leaving the lane and your enemy is not, that's where they gain the advantage, obviously. But... Doesn't really have a big advantage. Nice. You really want to get that auto proc off when you get a Q. Again, if you don't know how Shen works, when you get the, the line of this line between your sword... When you actually, like, get that proc off, it does so much more damage. You want to get that auto. Again, Karthus, I don't know, that was a bit of a weird play. I wouldn't have shown. I don't know if Mundo knew that Karthus was nearby, so he could have been a bit more patient, waited for the minions to go into tower, and then we could have probably dove, because then we know Mundo didn't have ult, so. <laughs> nice, he's using TP top. That's sick. Got ya. I'm- Oh! I was trying to help him get the kill, but... Wait, but Leona just killed herself! Ah! I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. I, I, honestly, I'll take it. I will actually take that. That's not bad. Honestly, not bad. Karth is covering top lane. He also got Rift Herald. 
We get kills for Jinx. The enemy team dies. Yeah, honestly, that's fine. Go on, Cartus. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's not dead. Just don't die. Please don't die. That Leona, that was not worth. A support getting a kill is not worth an AD carry getting a kill. Jin has yet to get a kill. Only Leona's got three. That's really bad. Shaco's done nothing, by the way. For an early game Shaco, that's not good. To the point that because I have not even seen him in ages, I'd actually question as he DC'd. So I go. No. Mundo should probably go back, because now that he's at this health, he can't just freely farm. Shaco's top lane? That makes no sense. That makes no sense to why you're top. The dragon's spawning. I'm confused. I will take that. Oh, we got both of them! Yeah! Let's go! God, they're so desperate. Yeah! Come on, lads. That's a weird exhaust. Obviously, it's probably just more to slow the Leona to try and get the kill, but that is a bit of a weird one. Let's go. One dink. Dink. Yes! Oh, we just aced them! Oh, sick! Okay. 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 Oof. The stress is going down. And then something bad will happen and the stress will be back up. Oh. Got you. Reactions of a cat. Do cats actually have good reactions, by the way? Or is that just a myth? I've never had a cat. I've actually thought about this, and I, I know I've said this on stream. I don't even think I've ever had a cat, like, in my lap. In my life. Ever. I've never been around cats. Everybody I know are dog people, not cat people. So I don't think I've ever held a cat. I'm 27, and I've never held a cat. And my logo is a big cat. Feels weird, man. Jesus, you're angry. Oh, no. I'm missing out. <laughs> I mean, I'm more of a dog person myself as well. So, you know. Dogs for life. They are cute. I'll give them that. I asked Queen Pleb actually, I was like, do you, do you see us getting cats ever? She's like, I mean, she's not going to say no, but we're definitely a dog peoples, not a cat peoples. I know you can technically get both, but... Oh no. They all just died to mid. That's a rage ulti. Guys, don't, don't risk it. No risky for Chocolate Bicky. My top lane's gone. So this is the problem with playing Shen. Um... Can't get to him. My god, this is so annoying. Is he literally playing split push Mundo? Because if he is, that's really stupid. Oh, 
Oh, they knew I was there. I'm dead. Oh, they knew I was there. Oh, this game's actually getting more annoying. The stress level's building. <laughs> I can feel it. What doesn't help is I really need to pee. Maybe, yeah, maybe he's an AD Scion player in disguise. But yeah, he should not be playing Split Push Mundo. That's really weird. Press on. One thing I do also, I will say, I fall in the trap of doing occasionally when I play Shen is I, I help my team too much and that sacrifices my own lane. Because Shen himself has got good individual um, strength. Like, watch now, I'm going to teleport to bot lane and that's going to sacrifice top again. What's my thoughts on Zeri? I've not played it yet. I'm going to be playing a later today of me uh, recording this. All I've heard is I've heard that she's ridiculously overpowered. So yeah, I've heard she's OP. Really sick wall! Penta? Oh, they took the Penta. Ooh. Jinx took Olivia's Petna kill. I mean, well done. But, oof. I think we just straight up beat them in a team fight, though. Like, I, as I said, our comp is better than theirs. We have hyper carries galore. And we have got two champions that, like, protect. Like, if you saw in that fight again, guys, that Carthus survived way longer than he had ever any right to because he got Zillin ulted and he got Shen ulted. So it's like, yeah, you're not dying. And the Shaco is Shaco. Stun him, stun him, stun him. Got you. Yeah, nice. Oh, overstay happened in bot. Good job, Anivia. I don't think this is the real Alexich, by the way. Um, it's weird. We've got kind of two people that have got ex-pro names in their name. Wicked and Alexich. Because I think Alexich nowadays lives in America and he's a software engineer for Riot. So, yeah. So even though this Mundo's been annoying, by the way, he's 0-4. He's having quite a bad game. You wouldn't probably guess it. I'm going to buy a Bramble, obviously, next item, just to lessen the annoyance of the healing a little bit of Mundo. I need to get some bit more damage, so I'm going to just get the... What's it called now? Is it a Tiamat? It is still a Tiamat. Okay. You never know with all the name changes if which one's which. Look at the farm difference of jungle. Whoa. I'm hoping that does something good, but I don't know. Well, this is bad. That was just bad positioning by a few teammates, unfortunately. Mainly the bot lane. Well, Zillion originally got caught. My ult couldn't save him. You just can't walk like that and think everything's going to be fine. Got to thinky a little bit. Damn. Oh, am I dead? I might be dead. 
Okay, it's two for one though. I'll take that. Oh, is it not? Oh, I thought we'd get you both. Oh, we did. That's worth. Alright, team out. Crazy game. I think we still win this game. If we, again, in a 5v5, we win. That just wasn't a 5v5. That was someone getting caught. <sighs> really need a pee. It's weird. I need a pee, but I'm also thirsty. Is that weird? That's risky. Oh, nice. Ooh. Mundo really early TP. Oh, sick wall! Oh, if they kill him. They nearly kill. That's pretty good, though. Oh, Shaco's got caught. We don't have Carthus ulti. Hold on. We got what we wanted. Wait, no we didn't. Wow, Carthus mucked that up. These are really bad, like, stupid mistakes creeping in, huh? Wow. Well, we didn't get that dragon. How crazy is that? Ooh. Eh, not far. Yeah, he died, I think, bad, like, he, well, I don't know, he really badly positioned. He positioned awfully, and that kind of, I don't know. Ugh, really, again, mistakes are creeping into this match, no doubt. Which is not good. In one way, I think we outscale the enemy team, but again, you never know in late game. You never know. That <laughs> Shaco's so weak. <laughs> God, that was quite funny. My team wanting to do Baron because the enemy jungler is dead. I get the reasoning, but it's an early Baron. Throwing this game so hard. I'm done. Like, I'm just... I, this is mentally just exhausting. I can't cope with these games. I think I'm done playing after this game. I'm just not coping well mentally. This is just awful. I can't do it. What well, is such an easy game to win. I'm just seeing such bad play. And it's literally doing my head in. just not worth it. Right, the Shaco is basically a mini in this game, but they're still actually managing to beat us. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Le Tilt is real. Mm hmm Victor's the problem. He's really strong. 
Carthus is going to walk up to him and probably just get one shot. I'm just dying. I needed Carthus there actually a bit earlier. I just got baited completely. Alright, I'm going to ignore. I'm going to mute his pings so I just never see his pings ever again. Well, we lost. We've lost. Well, this is a tilter. We've lost to a Shaco that's literally done nothing. When we have a comp that outscales them completely. I'm so annoyed. Only, well, wait, that's a good thing. If we could get Hex Dragon Soul, you never know. Nivea's pointless to split push. Again, she's split pushing on a Nivea without TP. That's just trolling. Stop split pushing on a champ that, one, you don't actually want to split push on. Two, you don't even have teleport to split push. It's just silly. Wait, what? I thought that would have still went on. Oh well. Oh god. Our team is so weak. I kind of wish Jinx went Gale Force as well, because, like, she is having a really hard time surviving this match because she just hasn't got the positioning. Oh, I wish I had flash. If we kill the victor, the game is won. It's just the problem the victor is so much stronger than everybody on our team. Victor's nearly 100 farm above the Anivia. He is strong. Mundo's so cocky. Ooh. I can, that was never going to kill me. The Shaco doesn't do any damage. Nice. Good ult. Oh, Victor's dead. Victor's dead. This might be a bit of a far away TP, but I'm on my way. Didn't have ult. Hello. Are you serious, dude? Why? <laughs> Risk it. Oh, they never just needed to back away. Dude. It's an intense game, but we should be winning it. Really. From the 
we are quite reliant on our Jinx doing like the main bulk of our DPS, I would say. Why you not go Titanic? Because it's not up to my damage to win this game. I need to survive as long as possible to be a distraction. Oh, oh, okay. Ow. My jaw just cracked then. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, Jinx, you're positioning. You see that Jinx just walk into the victor? Can't do that. Oh! oh! Oh my god. That's amazing. What on earth was that Jin doing there by himself? Wow. That's insane. Really? I get why he's doing it, but... He's, get he's getting them lower with ult. So if they did come to fight, they're already like a little bit lower. I get why he's doing it. It makes sense. Oh boy. That was a teleport dance right there. Admundo went to kill me, but got killed in the return. Victor killed Thingy. Shaco can't kill Jinx. Did though with Ignite. Okay. Well, when's Dragon 40? Oh, the thing. Thank God that takes a little while to work. Okay. We got in here. What can the enemy team do while we're dead? Dragon will... Oh, God. That's going to be... Yeah, they're going to get Elder. Oh, God. They're going to get Elder. That's probably game. Hey, Neon Moon. Yeah, if they get Elder, the game is over, unfortunately. That's a shame. That's really annoying timing. That's just sometimes how it works, I guess, though. God, he's so fed, man. They don't care. The Mundo doesn't care, guys. They get it. That was so bad. Now they can go do Baron for free because they know we can't fight them. Oh, that sucks how that timing's worked. Sometimes it feels like the game doesn't want you to win. <laughs> All my games have been pretty hard. Yeah, we haven't really had any smooth, nice games in our placements, it feels like. Every game is just horrible. They're not doing it. They are they are going to. There's no reason why they wouldn't. It's completely free for them right now. I just can't believe how strong the victor is. He's basically, like, turned this game for the enemy team by himself. Like, did did he all do all that damage to Anivia then with one laser? I don't know. We've got to hold on as much as we can. Mm.
Because the thing is, the Victor's at his maximum strength. We still have, like, a Nivea stu is it Nivea's two items below the Victor. Me and Mundo are more or less even on items at the moment. I don't know really how we're going to do this. Good wall. They can't wall. Oh, these Karth assaults, they're so weird. What does that give us? They're just going to heal back up. Okay, well, it's a nearly dead. That has to be the fake. That's the real one. <laughs> Reset right into him. It might have, actually. Imagine if that gets a kill. Okay, we've held them off. That's really good. It's a really good hold. In an open fight, I think we've got more of a chance to win. Let's get his passive off. We just want to time out their buffs. And then timing out their buffs would give us the... Um, oh. Okay, nice. This Mundo really mispositions quite a lot. Um, timing out their buffs would just give us Hex Dragon Soul advantage. We just... Because, like, again, we were doing okay. We, we got into their base, got in Hib. It's just the timings of the spawning of the, the next two things, which has just screwed us completely. This next fight is going to be the like the most crazy one, though, because most people, I would imagine, will have double sums. He doesn't have... It, ooh. He doesn't have Zonya the victor, by the way. He is Le Coqui. Go, Jinxie! End the game. Woo! Why are these games so hard, man? Why are they all, like, the most insane, intense game I've ever played? Can we not just have a smooth, like, nice, saily game? No? Why? Please? It's like every game's master promo. I don't like it. Jinx, stop farming. Oh, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so that makes us... What are we? I can't remember what we are now. We lost last game. Obviously, that was a really bad game. And now we won this game. I think we're 5-4. Yeah. So we're five wins, four losses. So that means my goal in placements, even though it might not seem it, like, my goal in placements is always go 5-5. Five, five. Dead even, 50% win rate. It's an okay start to the season to be 50%. We've minimum hit that goal. We've minimum hit 50%. I'm also going to give it to Zillion because he did pretty good. So minimum we've hit our goal, which is nice. And if we do manage to win the last one, it means we go 6-4, which is pretty good. So I will take that. But oh, this game, man. Again, I'm so sorry if I'm so out of it at the moment. I'm just not, again, I'm not dealing well with the stress. Yeah. But anyway, we go 4-8-20. I, I have 20 assists, which is quite a lot. And if I do win the next game, yeah, I'll get Platinum 2 straight away, which would be nice. 
And then damage wise, probably nothing. Yeah, like I did no damage because I didn't even complete Titanic this game. As I said, this game had nothing to do with my damage. It's one of those games. There are some games on Shen you can do damage and carry. We've done them in the past. We have carried games with building Titanic Rush and with a wit's end. This was not that game. Why was it not this game? Well, if you just look at how the comps work, we have hyper carries of Jinx, Carthus, and then even Anivia slightly. They're always going to do way more carry potential damage than I am. So all this game was, was help them survive. Enable them to do things by ulting, by having my W that gets rid of auto attacks, and by taunting. That is my job. You can see, as I said, the Shaco had a really rough game. He didn't get the early game start of a normal Shaco, and he doesn't scale, so... But I would say, I feel sorry for the victor. He played really well, so I do feel sorry for him. He was basically had that whole, his whole team on his shoulders, and he just couldn't do enough. Oh, this game is stressful. Anyway, that is going to be it. If you guys did enjoy the craziness, you know, hopefully what I will say is after the placement games, the stress level probably will calm down. I'm going to be honest with everybody. The stress level, I would say, has already calmed down a bit anyway, because I do know I can minimum go for 5-5, five, five, and I'm happy with 5-5. Five, five. I just did not want to have a negative win rate placement, you know. But that's going to be it. If you guys did enjoy, do throw a like on the video. Twitch chat's going nuts. Be yeah, Listen to what they're saying. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Cool down.